What's up guys? Uh, this is week four of our YouTube devotional that we're doing. Hope you guys are having a nice Christmas break. Uh, lately we've been talking about uh, how to guard your heart and, um, and different ways that we can do that. Um, and the main scripture that we've been using has been Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. Uh, you know, the heart is a center for voluntary activity. Um, different ways that we volunteer uh, maybe to to be this way or to be that way. Um, the heart uh, comes from our will, and our will determines our heart. Actually, our heart determines our will. Um, for instance, um, Saul uh, was on his way, in the Bible, Saul was on his way to Damascus, and um, the Lord sent an angel to show up to him and blind him temporarily. Um, and before that, Saul was a man that had persecuted the church, and he hardened his heart towards the church. Um, but after that, Paul actually became somebody who submit himself to the church, and somebody who actually devoted himself to becoming um, uh, part of the church and actually part of um, changing the church and changing people to help change the church and to build churches. Uh, Paul was known for discipling different people and building churches. Uh, David, David, he was a man after God's own heart. He seeked after the Lord and, and he found the Lord. Um, and then also there was Esther. Esther, she had a heart that intended to do something. Um, Esther, even though she knew it wasn't the right, or even though she knew it wasn't the popular thing to do, she knew it was the right thing to do, um, she went towards the king and she told um, them, told him that the um, that her people were suffering. And she had a heart to do something. She wanted to make something happen. Uh, and Moses, he yielded his heart into God's plan. Um, whatever God said, Moses said, okay, and he had some reluctancy, and he kind of had some problems at first, but once he realized that there was no other way except for um, for God's plan, then he went ahead and he yielded his heart to God, and wholeheartedly did he give himself to God. Well, all these examples, they take place in our human will, and our heart determines our will. Um, it determines our will to serve God, our will to seek after God, and our will to obey God. Um, we have to guard our heart by determining to place our determination and the will uh, of God into the things of God, rather than the things that we can accomplish on earth. Um, if the world consumes our hearts, then the results will be hardening our hearts towards God, because the only way that we can put our will towards God is to be pleasing to God, and that is not to worry about pleasing man. Um, a, a scripture that really, really puts that home is uh, Philippians 4 8. It says, Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think upon these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So, if your goal is always to please the Lord and not to be worried about what man thinks, then your heart will always have a will to be consumed by God. And you're not going to have to worry about pleasing man because all you want to do is please God. That is your main goal. So think about that this week as you uh, go about your life and kind of uh, maybe you're not in school but maybe just kind of around your family or whatnot. Just kind of think about pleasing God over pleasing people. Um, you definitely always want to be in His will um, and that's probably just the main thing that you want to think about. Um, definitely going to see you guys Friday for the lock-in. Um, I won't be there probably for a little bit. Um, I've got to work. Um, till probably, so I might see you guys about 12.30 or 1, but I assume you guys will be up, and um, I'll come join you, and we'll come have a fun time bringing in the New Year's um, before the actual New Year's, so hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you then. Bye.